Okay, so today I'm going to fit the center console apart. Um, I found some help online, um, but there's no videos. Um, I, there is a video of uh, the later console from the newer generation electric vehicles being removed, but it's not really a lot of help here because you have to disconnect the cable here, which I'm not looking forward to. Um, but first, let's... Uh, Let's get some other bits off. I'm going to take this bit off first. It's got one under. That's it. Okay. I'm going to do the same. Pulling towards me and also prizing sideways. There we go. So now this has popped out. Just need to unplug this connector here. And that's that out. Put that up there out of the way. Now, I'm going to turn to in here. Get rid of that. Get my crap out of here. Under here. Two bolts down there. <laughs> okay, those are both loose now and out. So now I'm going to turn my attention to the back here. So by taking out those two uh, bolts under the um, center. Part. Hopefully this has loosened it up now. now. Now this part here clips into the carpet, carpeted sections. And I'm hoping by taking those bolts out first, it's going to make taking this out a little bit easier. So just in here, there's a connector for the um, cigarette or um, charging um, port. So, so just need to, that just unplugs just like that. So that bit's off. So now we get into screws here and then go back into the, passenger to the drive as well so this panel here just pulls off clip there you'll be able to feel it it's tight and there's another clip there and it just literally comes out into the back again Got a screw here. Mm. 
and then this panel just unclips. There's a clip there and there's a further clip in the front. So that's come out. get that out and then just repeat on the other side now I've disconnected the battery because I'm going to be disconnecting cables and things there's, uh, there's also two screws either side here which need to come out uh, I didn't get them on camera but it's fairly straightforward See how this comes apart. Looks like there's a tab or something. No, that's it. It's a white clip. You push in the center of it, push it forward. So back towards yourself and then just done clips so another another clip another connector here it's just got a tab on it standard tab pull I expect there's a bolt under here. Oh, there's a screw there for definite. So, um, there's then this one here to come off. Okay, so, okay, I've got that one out. Now, we need to disconnect the gear lever or the gear shifter from its cable and you do that under here. And it's quite difficult, so I've been told. Now, there's a button or something there. And this white thing This has to go back. So that is in the blogs that I've read is referred to I think as the button. You need to push it in and then hook something behind it to pull it out. So you're pushing and pulling. And this is clipped into this part here I don't see I mean, that I've seen that out on something but it's here I'm taking the lower part of the gear selector cable out of its circular clip um, I do this by using the pry tool to slightly open up the clip at the just above the white threaded bit and then um, pull the black lower part towards me and it just pops out okay yeah that's out right good so apparently you have to push quite hard and then get something behind it to pull on it found these which might help I might be able to get that in there and mm. 
that behind there. That's it. Push. No. Uh, come off. Right, I might have some progress. I can if I push it with my finger. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on. In hell. Now, that really pisses me off to no end. I've done it. What a bastard. That's what you're trying to get out. And you, that's the button you push that. And what I ended up doing was putting this deep scoop under there, pulling and pushing this with this end on the screwdriver and it's come off let's hope it goes back on jesus so now it should be completely free yeah there seems to be just this holding it on now i suppose you get that out it feels like there's just a tab there that needs to be pushed upwards Yeah. So there's a tab on the bottom. Oh. Yes. Apart from this. What's going on here? Right, this thing goes under there. I'm gonna have to at least loosen the seat off. It's just four bolts, so we'll see what happens. So I've got the front seat bolts out. Right, I've had to reconnect the battery to get the front seat forward and I've had to reconnect the connectors that I undid on the other side so hopefully I'll be able to get these back ones out and I'll turn the battery off again These have got to come off as well so I've got those off and hopefully I'll be able to seat, tilt the seat back now and get on with this from here right that little thing just goes on there and turns and comes off a bit further on I think now I need to get this loose it's got the screws bolts out for the amp Another bolt there. So I've got the bolt out of the back of the amp, and that's free now. 5p. Let's hope that we make some progress. Got the nut off. That's it. Right, so now we need to get that off there. Right, okay, so this just pushes on to this just pushes on to there. Right. Right, it's out. I don't know about continuing, but I am knackered. Right, I'm going to get it upside down now. I'm hoping it's a question of getting these screws out along here, and then this whole thing will come off. So let's do that to start with. 
okay i've got all the screws out of here on both sides that's loose now let's turn it over and see what it's like so got that off now we're into it aren't we let's get these screws off in there at this rear bit I guess uh, no there's none over there so just have to try and get that off yeah that's that okay and down here now somewhere figure out what's going on down there Looks like there's more clips, one there, and can't see one up there. Let's see what happens when that comes out. I think this tray bit pops out somehow. Yeah, that's what the clip is there. Two clips. So I'm just putting it in there, moving it around. Hopefully that's going to come off. I think this lid has to come off first. Um, God knows how that comes off. Okay, so I think I've jumped the gun taking this bit off. I need to get it back down, I think, to get that off. The screws under there and there and in the middle. Um, I'm gonna try and get these off. Yeah, I can't get this back on now because these clips are out of line. Yeah. So I think I need to get in here, get this out. No, it still doesn't come out. Why does it come out? <sighs> Look, I can't work out how to get this back bit off. So I just I've had enough of it, quite frankly. I reckon I can get to what I need to with it like that. So it looks like Screws here need to come out, and then this should hopefully lift off. Two screws under there. So now this is loose, and I think it must come out to allow this bit to then, there must be more screws under here. Seems to be hooked under there. Maybe this just unclips now. Okay, so it looks like there's clips under these. Just get one under there. And... That's it. Okay, so I'm going to try and get the rest of this off now. Okay, there's more screws down there. Take those out and see where we go. There's another one down there. Right, okay, hopefully that'll be it. Right, okay, so clip under there. I hope it's a clip or it's broken. And then that 
just does not want to come out. I don't know why. So now I suspect there's another clip. There's a clip there that's coming out. I suspect there's one there. But it's not coming out. Okay, yeah, so two clips under there. That one was a swine to get out. Right. Okay, that's loose. Right. Let's try and figure out how we get all this out. So I'm not really interested in taking this bit off. Just need to work out how to get this out now. Feels. This should come out. Yeah, that's that's out. Okay, right, screw there. God, I hope this is the last screw. Nope, still, yeah, another one just there. Yes, it's out. Right. Okay. Oh my God. Right. I'm gonna put it back together and it's 20 to five here in the UK. Sun sets at seven-ish. Gotta hurry up. So I've got the new one here and I've just tipped it up and this whole, the whole cover has just dropped out. Now that might not be such a bad thing because on the old one, there's a, a, cl uh, a plug connector to it. Oh, shit. A cigarette lighter. But on the old one it's soldered and they've just, oh it's crimped and they've just cut it off so hopefully I can just change the cover on this and put this original one back in. Hopefully I can change the cover on this and just put the original one back in. Assembly is the reverse of disassembly. As you can see, I've got the car back together, and what a marathon! It uh, it took me about six hours to do it, um, and and now that I've done it, it you know, it, I could I reckon I could do I reckon I could have the centre console out in an hour, um, and it all stripped down and put back in in two and a half, three hours. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's just, you know, all the dead ends you go down um, thinking, oh yeah, I need to unscrew that screw or I'll take that out. And you know, it's, it's, uh, that's where the time goes. But if you're following along in this video, then I show you everything you need to unscrew uh, to be able to do this. I think I've got everything to get the console out. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's quite a job, but I think it's worth it. Now that I've finished um, the centre console and the uh, the panels, it, I think it, it just suits the car a lot better. Um, the thing is, I really did like the uh, aluminium look. It was just too in your face, really, and. Um, I don't know this wood it just seems to be just a, a bit more elegant a bit more a bit more tasteful really um you know it just it just it just looks more elegant than the than the um aluminium but anyway um yeah the 
oil that I put on the wood really has helped. Um, you know, uh, you can't see the scratches in the panel. Um, the only bits you can see are on the driver's uh, panel there, but I, they don't bother me that much. Um, but the center panels are perfect. Uh, that front panel is, and you, you can't see any of the damage on the others. It's not bad damage anyway. Um, but yeah, I really recommend putting a bit of that oil on because it stains it, uh, stains in the, uh, the the damage that's showing, and uh, I think it just gives a, a bit of a um, a freshen up. Um, it does take a while to dry. These are all. It's been a couple of weeks, few weeks since I've applied the oil on here now, but they've all. It's all dried back to a matte finish, um, and uh, yeah, I, I think that really does help. Anyway, so. Um, there it is. Um, good luck if you're doing yours and thanks for watching.